Hello, my name's Aquia Jamfi from the British Blacklist. It's an absolute pleasure to speak to you. Um, how are you feeling? I'm all right. It's it's so early in the morning here, but I'm all right. <laughs> what time is it? It's 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 six o'clock, but I've been up since two o'clock because I had an interview before you. But I'm here, girl. I'm good. here. Okay, I'm good. Here. Let's go. <laughs> um, so just to get straight into it, your performance was powerful, amazing, inspiring, and um the whole film itself is moving and brilliant did you have a conversation with Oracine and what was that conversation um about like you know what how did you get in touch ask her to get in touch with the characters and the characteristics that you wanted to bring to life to represent her accurately right well mm -hmm. I didn't talk to you got it girl you got it I heard everything I understood you so I didn't get to talk to Miss Oracine um before I started filming at all. And I never, I didn't speak to her at all until maybe last Sunday before last at a, at a press day. But what I had was um, our director, Ronaldo Marcus Green and our, our writer, Zach Balin and Will, they sat down with Miss Orsine and they just recorded her for hours and hours and hours. And so I listened to these recordings of her and what's so great about it is this was a this was an opportunity for me to hear Miss Oracine speak her own truth. I didn't have to hear it secondhand from anyone. And and then that's what I used as my raw material to shape what you see on screen. No, I don't think I've heard anyone do that before. So what spoke to you through hearing her voice and her just her conversation? Well, the thing is, is there's not a lot of, we don't know a lot about Miss Orsine, you know, um, and I didn't know a lot about her. So what the research that I would have done would have come from the very few, you know, interviews of her. So the, these recordings were invaluable. And, and what she says in these recordings is she talks about her being, her being an athlete when she was young and how that affected how she trained Serena really specifically. So, I mean, me having that information and knowing that in my back pocket, that's what I carry to work with me every day. And then, cause I was gonna say to you, because what I appreciate about King Richard is that although it's about Richard and the girls, we get to learn about Oracine's impact and the on the family dynamic and on the girls development, which we, who knew, who absolutely knew. And so I suppose what I wanted to know is like, what, was there anything in your discovery um, that surprised you about Oracine? Well, it surprised me that she was their coach. Right. I, yeah. I did not know that. And I don't think I, I no, no one knows that, you know, they because everyone knows what they see or they see her at Wimbledon. They see her at the U.S. Open and she has on those fly glasses, you know, and she's just clapping, you know, so that's what they see. And so like me, I'm thinking like, oh, she's just this wonderful, dedicated mother who's always there cheering for her daughters. But what I did not know is what people are going to see in the film is that she was as much their coach as Mr. Richard was their coach. And she trained so she could teach them how to play you know, incredible. Phenomenal. And just, you know, you, Miss Lady, are stacking up a legacy of playing formidable mothers specific, specifically, like from Bill Street Could Talk, Clark Sisters, Love for Our Country, King Richard, and When They See Us. So, you know, the importance of playing Black mothers on screen and having us documented in history and in the arts, it's very important to us as watching it. But is this like a conscious decision that you're making or is it something you're leaning into as the roles come your way? I think it's something that I'm leaning into as the roles come my way. You know, I don't have a whole lot of control over, you know, what gets made, what get, what I get offered, what I audition for and ultimately don't get, you know. Um, but I, I think that, you know, it's just been this sort of run that I've been on these last few years where I have been playing these kind of like, you know, iconic, even in their own minds, you know, with, with you know, the character I played in If Bill Street could talk and then iconic for real in real life with you know these other 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 women that I've been playing and yeah I welcome that I have I I, I know some actors don't like playing my I love it I just I love it I love it well you do it so well and if I can yeah I was going to try and squeeze in just a scene that really defines why you said yes to this film to this role is there a scene in the film that really like yeah this is why I said yes well one is being able to say what I feel, hope, hopefully Miss Orsine wanted the world to know that conversation that she has 
with yeah. Richard, you know, and then there, there's that tender moment that she has with the girls when she tells them, remember where you came from and she's doing their hair. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you so much. I really Thank appreciate you. your time. I appreciate Thank you want to talk to me. <laughs> Thank you. What's going on? Everybody okay? They got a call, said there was trouble in the house. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, you all need to look around. It's a little wet for practice, don't you think? Don't the girls have schoolwork to do? They do their homework. Tundi's first in her class. Lynn and Isha are too. Now I don't even mind you saying we hard on these kids. You know why? Because we are. That's our job, to keep them off these streets. You want to check on the kids? Let's check on the kids. We got future doctors and lawyers, plus a couple tennis stars in this house. The chances of achieving the kind of success that you're talking about is just very, very unlikely. OK, you're making a mistake, but I'm going to let you make it. Watch me hit a few balls. All right. So tell me your names again. I'm Venus. I'm Serena. So what you think? I wrote me a 78-page plan for their whole career before they was even born. Yeah, baby, yeah! <laughs> These girls so great, how come I've never heard them? They're from Compton. It's okay. They're just not used to seeing good-looking peoples like us. She's nervous. Make a step up. Maybe she ought to take a few more steps up. Just get someplace safe. I think you might just have the next Michael Jordan. Oh, no, brother man. I got me the next, too. This next step you got to take. You're not going to just be representing you. You're going to be representing every little black girl on earth. They're not going to let you doubt. How could you? This world ain't never had no respect for Richard Williams, but they're going to respect y'all. You're going to walk out there with your head up. You are a champion, and the whole world knows it. The most dangerous creature on this whole earth. It's a woman who know how to think. Yes, Daddy. Ain't nothing she can't do. You gonna show them how dangerous you are? Yes. Venus and Serena gonna shake up this world. Venus Williams, who is your best friend? Hey, Daddy. Serena Williams, who is your best friend? Venus. Thank you. Thank you. After Venus. <laughs>